Hey gang, welcome back to another episode of Talking eBay. Today we're doing an unboxing of what I got for us, a uh, swag box for the spring seller update and also a very important update regarding uh, animal uh, products policy from eBay. So stay tuned to the whole episode. One's going to be visual and one's going to be like a podcast. So listen to this, very important, and you'll get all the information you need. Thanks for listening and we'll get right to it right now. Welcome back to another episode of Talking eBay. Today I'm showing you my swag. I just got in from eBay from doing the online survey. Now, if you didn't watch the spring seller update, at the end, it gives you uh, up to 400. The first 400 people who fill out the survey get free swag. It was a mystery box this time. You never know what you got. So I just want to do the unboxing and show you what I got for my swag. Let's take a look at it together. So first thing we got is, of course, a thank you card from eBay. Thank you for uh, sharing your feedback. Uh, and that's what's in here. First thing they gave you, so that was really nice. Some tissue, which is cool. Some stickers, which are awesome. There's a nice, nice quality stickers you can put on your packages and, you know, make people feel really, you know, special and different, which is nice. An eBay Open 2023 um, pin, which is cool. An eBay measuring tape, which is important. You have to have that to measure your packages. Like I told you, you have to have that. And also a very cool eBay Almost like a baked um i don't know baked on white like really cool uh tumbler made out of stainless steel and here you can see that stainless steel it's got a nice tumbler branded ebay and this is really nice as well i'm not sure the size of the, the liquid it holds but um hand wash only it says uh which is really nice again made out of stainless steel which is nice also they gave us the package now what's in the package you may ask get the stuff out of the way Let's open it up and see what else is in here. So let's take a look together and see what eBay sent us. If you have any questions or comments, you're enjoying my uh, Talking eBay YouTube channel. I do appreciate that. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And also check out my Talking eBay podcast. Well, what's in here? Let's see. Oh, eBay tape. That's nice. See. eBay bags. These are important. These are good. It's always, always, all of the, all this was free. Shipping bags. Look at this. All kinds of cool stuff. What's in here? Oh, more stickers in here. RGB. It says RGB sticker. So it's probably colored stickers. That's cool. Small bags. All branded eBay. This is like a little larger bag. That's good. I like that. There's a lot of stuff in here, guys. A lot. They give you this is all free. More eBay bags, larger bags, which is really nice. Take a look at that. These are even, and I use these bags, but they're not. These large ones are very important when you're, when you're packing certain things in different sizes. What's this? Let's see what this is. This is a bunch of tissue, which is nice to pack, you know, certain like jewelry. I do some jewelry, I pack in jewelry in here, which is really nice, very impressive. I love that. Bigger bubble bags. Which are, these aren't cheap to buy, by the way, guys. These aren't cheap. And what else? In one more bag. That's it. That's what's in there. So that's what I got. I got these bags, which is cool. I got these bags. I got two rolls of tape. These bags, some bigger bags, tissue, a tumbler. And everybody got something different. So they were mystery. So you never know what you're going to get. There's a tape ruler, a uh, pin, and also some stickers. So this is what I got in my swag. Let me know what you got in your swag. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast as well, uh, Talking eBay Podcast. Let's open this up too real quick. See what this is all about. What's in here? Oh, that's cool. The round ones. I like these. I use these all the time. So these are the round um, eBay stickers. These are cool. I like these. I'll put these right up here. I do use those. Um, and that's what they got. So, okay, that's what I want to do. Quick unboxing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, like I told you. Uh, and we'll be doing some more classes and more tutorials in the future. I appreciate your time as always. And I have a special announcement. Just want to let you know what's going on. Um, if you sell on eBay and you sell seashells, I had one of my uh, listings taken, taken down the other day. And I guess sometimes you get frustrated with that and you want to find out, well, how come this is happening to me? Did eBay target me? Um, and no, they didn't target you. Basically, what's happening? Uh, and it's going across the board. There's been some issues with a lot of different things. Uh, I was talking to an eBay expert the other day. Um, we do have a concierge service, so we talked to them directly, and they were telling me that um, the other day they were taking down a ton of medical items, so medical devices, certain things. So what's happening is as 
and I think it's mostly in California, seems to be an issue as people uh, bring up certain issues with the, the environment or animals, whatever it may be, it seems to be an issue with specific items along with that. So what happens is that they go ahead and they'll find these listings and they'll basically remove them. It's a warning. It's not necessarily a violation, but it kind of stinks when it does happen to you. So I did get one the other day. It was a conch shell, C-O-N-C-O-C-H, C-O-N-C-H. I think it's conch. I forget. I have to look it up. Uh, conch shell. And it's a, and it's um, a beautiful shell. It was uh, pink inside. I think it was pink. I forget what it, exactly what it was called, uh, but so I called eBay up and I talked to somebody in the, in the, and I said, I really want to get to the bottom of this. So they sent me over to a specialist that deals in that type of stuff. Uh, so this is really more environmental or, or you know, okay, it just really gets really, really deep. Uh, so basically, long story short, after I, after I got done, done uh, speaking with her, pretty much anything that lives in a shell cannot be sold on eBay. And that's pretty much what I want to kind of relate to in this quick podcast or a quick episode on talking eBay and talking eBay on YouTube. I just want to make this and just get this up there and just give you the information. So if you have any seashells at all, it doesn't really matter if it's snail, anything that lived in a shell, she basically told me, anything that lives in a shell, it doesn't really matter, clam, anything, it cannot be sold on eBay. And if you think about the reason why, it's because if you can profit on something like that, now you start going out and now there's, there's poaching and there's all kinds of things happening. And it's really not kind of cool, right? If you think about what's going on with that. So I mean, so if, if you find one on the beach, oh, I may sell this and this is cool. Uh, but I guess the bottom line is they don't want you to do that. They don't want you profiting from seashells. And I get it. I do get it. I really do. I mean, I, I, I can see people going out there and just, you know, going, uh, you know, you know, scuba diving and, and, you know, picking up these conch shells. And they're very popular in the, I think in the, mostly in the coral reefs or, or any kind of, any kind of, I think anything core, I don't know anything. I'm not really sure how gray it is, but she said, pretty much we're going to go out there. We'll do a huge sweep and you are part of that sweep. And what that means is that they go around and they find all these listings and they cancel them with, with warnings and not violations. They're kind of a, a light warning really doesn't hurt you at all. But it's kind of stressful. So I really just wanted to, you know, deep down drill into this specific topic about certain Vero's, right? So things that you can't sell, things that are trademarked, things that you can't say. You know, you have to say hook and loop instead of Velcro, and you have to say this and you have to say that. And you got to be very, very careful when you're listing stuff on eBay or if you're selling anything pretty much anywhere. You have to be careful uh, because, you know, environmental laws, there's rules, and they change every day. Look at this the shell thing. I had a bunch of other shells on, said, and I said to her, can you look at this other listing? I had a bunch, a bunch of seashells listed and just random shells, nothing fancy, right? Starfish, seashells, snail shells, clam shells. Silver dollars. I don't know. Does anybody live in a silver dollar? I'm not really sure. Um, she goes, yeah, it would be best if you just remove that listing. So I went ahead and, and removed that listing. Luckily, I found all these free at a yard sale. They're just giving them away, so it didn't cost me anything. And uh, so I did remove them, and it's not a big deal. But I want to just let you know that if you have any shells on, take them off because they'll give you a warning a few times. Then you're going to get a violation, and you don't want a violation. And three violations, you're thrown off the platform. And that's really the the message I want to you know, give to you in this quick little uh, update. So if you're selling seashells, take them off. Don't sell anything that lives in a shell. Shell jewelry, I didn't get into sh sh uh, shell jewelry. I should have done that. I did not get into that. I, sh I should have asked her. It's like, it was just so much going on. Um, I think that's okay. I'm pretty, I hope it's okay. I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, I have some shell, shell jewelry on, right? I have uh, coral shells and then yes, an animal did live in a coral shell or it's a coral or, or dude, I mean, think about it. I mean, it, it can get really deep, right? And so I have to find out, you know, really is it an active shell that something actually lived in? Was it a piece of jewelry? I mean, it can get really cuckoo. Think about it, right? So it's crazy. So if you listen to my podcast or listen to this for the first time, I've been selling on eBay for over 25 years. Um, I love doing it and love to help teach you and educate you. I'm an educator, I'm a teacher, I'm a motivator, and I'm also, I want to just give you some value to this, to this uh, podcast. So I hope you're enjoying some of the episodes. i uh, doing some more in the future. So if you do, don't forget to uh, follow and share this specific channel, the station, like and share if it's on this YouTube, whatever it is, whatever you have to do to uh, follow me, go right ahead and do that. If you're listening to Spotify, go ahead and follow me there. I appreciate that as well. So I just want to make this quick, uh, quick, uh, quick episode and just share with you about 
seashell <laughs> say that five times fast forget it so that's what's going on today so yes i called ebay yesterday i had it removed and i got mad you know because you get mad it's like oh why they they targeted me someone reported me this is the first thing you think of this is the first thing i think oh somebody reported me what does that mean what did i do wrong so luckily i have the concierge service and i was able to call ebay and um really get the clarification and, and deep dive into the specifics of this specific warning, not a violation, but warning. Uh, and she went through with me and she said, yes, this is what's happening. And it's all right there with the links. And she showed me with the environmental protection. And she said, it's mostly coming out of California that where it's come, that's where the issues are coming from. So if you have any seashells on, remove them. It doesn't really matter what it is. And if you think you're safe, you know what? Don't risk it. If it's an issue, it's an issue. They said they're doing a huge sweep. What that means is they're going to go out and they're going to delete all these listings and send out these warnings. And the warnings are just one, exactly what it says. It's a warning and you're going to get it and it's fine. And it's going to be cool and you're going to take it down. And you know what? If you're going to call, don't get mad. Don't get angry. It is what it is. And if you bought it to resell, unfortunately, that's the the issue. Uh, and that's, that's just the road we're going down today. It's, it's getting more prevalent with that issue with can't sell certain things. You can't say certain things. You can't do certain things. You can't do anything anymore. <laughs> so... It's all about the, you know, and, and, and I get the seashell thing. I really do. Because, you know, people can go out there and start poaching and doing that. And I get that. You don't want that, right? I mean, if someone says, oh, I can make money selling, I don't know, God forbid, dead animals. And you started going out and poaching all the animals. I mean, think about that, right? So you don't want that. So you don't want, you know, to do that. And that's basically the uh, an ocean and an, an ocean animals domain or the, the, where they lived. And maybe someone took that out and then, you know, sold the shell for profit. And that's the mentality behind that. And you don't, you don't want that to happen. You don't, we don't want to destroy what's left of the, of the earth, the way things are going. So we don't want to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast. This is just a quick episode just to give you some information, food for thought, education, knowledge, and just a helpful, helpful thought. So if you appreciate that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're listening to, you, to me on my YouTube channel. And if you're listening to me on a podcast, don't forget to follow, share, like, I don't know, what, whatever you do on podcasting, stars, I don't know, whatever it is, just do it. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it as always. So I just want to make this quick episode, like I said, and um, if you have any questions or comments in the link, there is a... An email, you can go right ahead. It's talkingebay23 at gmail.com. Go ahead and email me if you have any questions or any comments, and hopefully I can help you. And also, there's a ton of stuff on my YouTube channel, Talking eBay at YouTube, or it's at YouTube slash Talking eBay, really. That's what it's called. Uh, you can just do that, or at Talking eBay. Just do that in Google, and it should pull it right up, and you'll see my YouTube channel with them. Um, Quite a bit of videos on there for helpful videos, uh, shipping, packing, and just all types of technology and information available to help you grow your experience on ebay and that's what it's about so hopefully ebay is um, just um actually doing a um just got my swag just to give you some more information just got my swag the other day uh two huge boxes showed up i did the ebay they had a spring event i don't know if you heard about that it's on my channel i, I recorded the whole thing live as if you to take a look at that go to my youtube channel talking ebay and you'll see that whole presentation they talked about all the things coming out with ai and all the new technology coming out with ebay and what to expect and all that kind of stuff and price increases of course and what to expect it's a, it's a whole hour long of um I, I recorded it all, so it's there for you to digest and look at. Uh, but at the end of these things, they give you the first 400 people that sign up for the survey get free swag. And it's a, they call it mystery swag. So that's cool. So I opened up the box. I'm going to show you what I got. So stay tuned to that. Go to my YouTube channel, and you'll see what I'm going to unbox and show you what I got in my mystery. Pretty cool. So stay tuned for that as well. So that's on my talk and eBay on YouTube. And on there as well as a ton of tutorials about selling and listing and shipping. And shipping is the biggest problem with most people. So learn about that and understand how that works. And you'll learn how to ship and sell properly on eBay. And that's the way to go. Okay, guys, appreciate that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. And also follow me on the podcast. Appreciate your time. Hope I uh, hope I gave you some value. And if you have the shells, take them off. It's just not worth getting in trouble for. It's just, you know what? Some people think they can beat the system. They'll take it off. They'll put it back on a month later. And, you know, after a couple of times, they're going to throw you off. So you don't want to lose your selling privileges because of something like that. It's just not worth it. Don't take any chances. Don't take any risks. You know, build your your community. And so everyone can be happy and healthy and safe. So I appreciate that. So send me an email if you want a shout out. I'll definitely give you a shout out. Uh, had a few of them in the past uh, with the podcasting. It did change the platforms a little bit. So I'm on a different one. I'm, I'm pretty much putting this 
on everything on Spotify. So if you're listening on Spotify, definitely a uh, shout out to me. Let me know. Uh, talking eBay 23 at gmail.com. Appreciate it as always. It is Saturday morning. It is beautiful. It is in the March 16th, which is awesome. The spring is coming and I can't wait to talk to you more about what's happening. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. That wraps up this quick episode. 10 minutes long. Didn't want to make it too long. Didn't want to make it too boring. I just want to give you the information that you need to succeed and to grow. All right, guys. See you at the next time. Thanks for listening.